Hello mathematicians. Today we see a nice problem involving topology and sequences and series of function. This is a problem asked in NBHM PhD 2020. So consider r power close to 0, 1. This is set of all functions from the interval close 0, 1 to r. This set can be given a topology. We give the product topology on this set x. Okay. And in this topological space, we claim that whether the set of all continuous function is closed or not. Set of all functions taking integer values closed or not. Set of all unbounded functions and bounded functions whether these things are closed or not. Okay. So, we are working in the function spaces. We have a set X whose elements are set of all functions from close to 0, 1 to R. In the functions, if the elements of the set are functions, we have seen two, uh, two con different convergence among functions. One is point wise convergence, another is uniform convergence. But uh, now we are talking about uh, different convergence. Like uh, you have, this is our set. In this set, we are defining product topology. So we have to see what is product topology. And uh, this is a very, very important NBHM interview question many times asked. The quest, exact question is, in this space, product topology and uh, point-wise convergence, they are same. Okay. So, there is that is why the product topology is also called point-wise topology because the convergence in product topology means also the point-wise convergence. So, basically, once you assume the convergence is point-wise, then it is easy to construct a sequence of continuous function whose point wise limit is not continuous. Similarly, sequence of I mean similarly sequence of unbounded functions whose point wise limit is bounded function. Sequence of bounded functions whose point wise limit is unbounded. It is all possible. So main thing is why the convergence in the product topology is same as point wise convergence. So the proof of this fact. The convergence in product topology and the convergence in the uh, point wise convergence, they are equal and that you can see in the book Topology Monkress. So, please check that proof. It is a very, very, very important NBHM interview question. Okay. Okay. So, now we understand that the convergence is, I mean, now we assume that the convergence uh, uh, in product topology and the point wise convergence are same. So, we solve this problem one by one. So, first we claim that uh, the subset consisting of all continuous function, it is not closed. Okay. Why? We know we have an uh, example. Uh, actually, I prepared the proof also. Okay. F proof of the fact that the product topology and uh, uh, the convergence in the product topology and uh, point wise convergence, they are same. But uh, I thought maybe it's good to refer you to the Monkress book so that you will see some more steps in book okay that is exact okay let's see the first example so consider the function fn of x equal to x power n in close 0 comma 1 if you fix a x in close to 0 open 1 so you fix a x in this interval then x power n converges to 0 therefore the point wise limit of this function in this interval is 0 but if you substitute x equal to 1 then fn of x tend to 1 therefore f of x is 0 if x belongs to close 0 open 1, 1 if x equal to 1. Okay, therefore, this uh, x power n is a continuous function, but the limit function is not continuous at the point 1. Therefore, fn tends to f point wise, but the limit function is not continuous. Therefore, in the product topology, this sequence of function converges to this function in the product topology, but uh, this function is not continuous. Therefore, the first uh, option is wrong okay second maybe we do first three and four then we come back to um, second option okay so we need a sequence of unbounded function which converges point wise to a bounded function so you consider this function i define fn from close 0 comma 1 to r by like my first function like uh, it is a 0 till 1 by 2 from here it is goes like f of x equal to 1 by x so at 0 uh, when it come to closer to 0 it goes to infinity okay and so the, my function comes here 
and uh, increases to infinity and at zero we take it to be zero that is my first function okay then clearly this is a unbounded function next so this is my say f1 i define my f2 to be so this is 1 by 2 then i go to 1 by 3 so i am going by the sequence 1 by n so this is 1 by 3 then again one this next function is 0 up to here and then it is increases to infinity like uh, and uh, so when you go closer to 0 it is increases to infinity and uh, for the second function also the value at 0 is 0 okay so similarly we can define the next two function like this so next two function is like this so you get a sequence of function each of this function take the value 0 at 0 and each of this function is uh, going to infinity as uh, when you are approaching 0 in the domain okay so it is a sequence of unbounded function <coughs> We claim that the limit of this function is the zero function. Therefore, uh, the limit function is a bounded function. Let's see why. So let I take a point x belongs to open zero closed closed one. Then you can. So basically, I'm taking a point somewhere uh, open zero closed to one. So this is my point one. So I take a point here. Suppose this is my suppose my x. Then I can always find a point here which is of the form 1 by n. So, however, how much ever closer to 0, I take a x, I can always find a point here, which is 1 by m. Because the sequence 1 by m converges to 0, we have we can do this. Okay, so choose m belongs to n such that 1 by m less than x. Then, what we have? So, if you look at the sequences, uh, f, uh, m, f p of x for p greater than or equal to m. Okay, what property that, what uh, so maybe I'll just name this function. This is f2, this is f3, this is f4, and so on. I didn't define f1. The sequence f1 I didn't define, but it doesn't matter. The sequence convergence is not depends on the first few terms. So my sequence sub function starts at f2, f3, f4, and so on. It goes like this. It is perfectly fine. I don't need f1. Okay. You can define f1 to be constant function zero. Doesn't matter. Okay. So if this uh, f2 is uh, zero before 1 by 2 f3 is 0 after sorry f2 is 0 after 1 by 2 f3 is 0 after 1 by 2 therefore this function fp is 0 after 1 by p correct now we have chosen m such that 1 by m is less than x if 1 by now p is greater than or equal to m so p is greater than or equal to m implies 1 by p is less than or equal to m this is less than x correct because already we have uh, 1 by p is less than or equal to 1 by m which is less than or less than x okay therefore if you look at any of this function uh, for for any of this function this function x this number x will be greater than or greater than or equal to 1 by p okay therefore this function fp from 1 by p onwards it is 0 and now x is a point to the right of 1 by p therefore at this point x also our sequence is 0. So what we are observing is so you have fixed a x belongs to open 0 close to 1 and if you look at uh, uh, f1 of x f2 of x maybe I will write it in some other place if you look at a uh, if you look at the sequence f1 of x, f2 of x, etc, etc, you can find a stage after which this fm plus 1 of x, fm plus 2 of x, all these values are 0, 0, 0, etc, 0, 0. That is what we have proved here. fp of x is equal to 0 for all p greater than or equal to f. Because like uh, suppose if you take a point, uh, suppose if I take a point, uh, this is my x, then after uh, suppose this is uh, suppose this is uh, 1 by 100 okay then after uh, f 101 all the sequence of function will be of this form like it will be zero so like at this point the function will take value zero okay therefore for fixed x this f1 of x f2 of x is a eventually zero sequence therefore f1 of x converges to zero for all x belongs to open zero comma one and at the point 0, we define each fn to be 0. Therefore, fn of 0 also converges to 0. Therefore, fn of x converges to the constant function 0 at all the points of close 0, 1. 
therefore we got an example of a sequence of unbounded function which is converges to a bounded function yeah in the point wise convergence point wise convergence and product uh, topology are same that is what we assumed therefore from that result we conclude that this uh, option c the set given in option c is uh, not closed okay so similarly we ex ex exhibit a sequence of bounded function which is converges to an unbounded function from that one can conclude that uh, option c also option d also not closed so you consider function f1 from close 0 comma 1 to r f1 of x equal to 1 plus x plus x at x power n if x not equal to 1 at the point 1 i take it to be 1 actually this function uh, you is uh, this function is a continuous function on close 0 comma 1 therefore it is a bounded function on close 0 comma 1 therefore it is continuous function on uh, closed 0 open 1 also restriction of a bounded function is bounded okay so in the interval close 0 open 1 only we are defining this function like this at x equal to 1 we are defining the value to be 1 okay therefore each fn is a bounded function and uh, we uh, if we want to calculate the limit of this function so for close 0 open 1 this c this series of positive partial sums it is going to converge to summation n equal to 1 to infinity x power and this is equal to 1 by 1 minus x since uh, x belongs to close 0 open 1 uh, close 0 open 1 this series is convergence because geometric series converges if and only if mod x is less than 1 therefore image of this sequence will be so limit of this sequence of function will be f of x equal to 1 by 1 minus x if x not equal to 1 again this f is a function from close 0 comma 1 to r and uh, 1 by 1 minus x if x not equal to 1 and 1 if x equal to 1 because each fn takes the value 1 at 1 therefore image also takes the value 1 at the point 1 and uh, clearly this is an unbounded function because uh, at x tends to 1 this function this value goes to infinity so we got an example of sequence of uh, bounded function whose point wise limit is not bounded okay okay next to move on to the option b in option b it is given that fn is a it is given that subset consisting of function that take only integer values okay everywhere it takes only integer values uh, it means that let fn from close 0 comma 1 to r be a sequence of functions such that fn of x belongs to z so for every so if you fix a function n if you fix a number n then it will be it will be a fn is a function from close 0 comma 1 to r but even though it is a function from close 0 comma 1 to r the codomain is r but it takes only integer values that means that range of each of the function fn is contained in r in contained in z that is what it means so we assume that suppose f1 tend to f point wise and we claim that the point wise limit function f that also take only integer values range of f contained in z so e range of each fn contained in z we claim that range of f is contained in z okay so fn tend to f point wise means that fn of i if you fix a value if you look fix the value i in the sequence fn then the image sequence converges to f of i that is the definition of point wise limit this is true for all i now since fn is a sequence f the range of fn each fn can contained in integers therefore this is a integer sequence in the real number in the real number with usual topology this is a integer sequence converges to some real number okay can you think of a integer sequence in real number which is not uh, it is which is converges to some non integer number that is not possible because integers are closed okay since integers are closed this sequence of integers should converge to an integer therefore f of i is also an integer okay therefore if you have a sequence of uh, uh, sequence of uh, functions on close zero command which takes only integer values then its point base limit also will take point base limit only therefore this option is closed okay okay guys so i will share the reference to the fact that product topology and convergence in the product topology and the point wise convergence are same in the description please look at that also and uh, if you learn something new from this video please 
uh, click the like button and share with your friends thank you